Ah, what's going on everybody? I'm Tanner. I'm Alexis. And you're watching yet another Tech Tip Tuesday. You guys have been really enjoying this series. I was gonna say, I've been enjoying this series. I love filming these. I think they're super informative. So today we're gonna be doing something that is much needed. And dude, we've been getting so many comments hating on Alexis for <laughs> getting yet another full-size bike. But I think that comes from people that haven't watched the channel and haven't seen you already ride yeah. your XCW back home. Yeah, for sure. It definitely does need lowered though. <laughs> the PDS bikes are harder to lower, but it can be done. And we're actually gonna send it out and have the professionals do it. I'm gonna get my bike done as well, but there are some things that you can do in the meantime to shorten the height a little bit and make it a little bit more- Manageable. Yeah. <laughs> So in today's video, we're gonna be taking her factory seat and shopping this thing down. And we got this fun Attack Graphics seat cover. Is it fun? It is fun. Oh, it I has love more stripes on oh it. Oh my God. Uh, we got this from Rocky Mountain, shout out to them. And like he said, that's the factory seat. Plenty of options for lowered seats already done. Seat concepts, enduro engineering. I actually did buy the enduro engineering seat, but it was the wrong one for my bike. Screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> um, I have the Enduro Engineering seat on my XCW and I absolutely love it. I think it's great, but right now we're in a time crunch. I don't have time to get another one, so we're just gonna do what we can with this one. Yeah, we're gonna wing it, guys. We've got some tools here that'll help us shave down this foam that's underneath the cover, so that will be the first step is getting off this cover. I also think that we're gonna be able to get at least an inch maybe even two out of this seat compared to like the Enduro Engineering or the seat concepts, which claim to get like seven eighths of an yeah. inch. So you're spending hundreds of dollars just to get seven eighths of an inch. And while it does make a difference, it's kind of painful having to spend that much money for that little. Yeah, and this was like $36 or something. So yeah, $36 compared to over 100, 200. Yeah, you could have reused the factory seat cover. Yeah. But you don't have the bling or the grip that you get with the uh, aftermarket cover. I was also semi-worried that we would like rip it or something, so. That's true, so you do have the option to take it back to factory. You could just buy the foam like on an OEM parts website and take it back to factory. So we didn't want to ruin this seat cover. I'm sure it's more expensive than this one, knowing OEM KTM. But also you get some bling and a little bit of extra grip. I actually have an aftermarket seat cover on my Husky as well, which I love. So best of both worlds. We're gonna get right into this. We gotta take all these staples off the back of this thing gonna be pretty tedious. I'll have Alexis knock that out and yeah, let's get right into it. So Alexis was using this pick. You can also use a little flathead, but basically just get under these staples and it's a tedious job, but just you gotta go through and pull out all these. With a flathead, sometimes you can actually get the staple out without having to pry it but we are trying to save this seat cover, so I don't want to completely tear it up. I find it kind of therapeutic. So if you see, there is a little like ridge down here. Good luck getting those out. Yeah, and that's gonna be quite difficult. Thanks, KTM. Oh, you're doing pretty good with a screwdriver. Yeah, I haven't really torn the cover anywhere yet. Dude, their minimum weight is 12, 15 here. I would've thought it was more. Back when I started, it was like 7.25. Got a lot of boomers in here, man. What was your minimum wage back in the day? Final three. It's the final countdown. Damn, that was actually pretty good. God, that's so satisfying. Look how clean the, this thing is. The white seat is satisfying. Oh, it's so clean. I wonder if anyone has a white seat. Oh, it's actually glued. They glue it to the seat pan so i say we just take off the foam really? and dude you could get a three inch drop just attach <laughs> the attach the cover to the pan that's all you need to do i would say just like maybe start just start here, here and yeah. then because dude you've got a lot an inch would be nice you want to do more or less i let's start with an inch okay you just want to wing it yeah see how clean this thing is dude 
the first hill climb she crashes, you're gonna be like poop stain right here. <laughs> How much is this for factory? A lot. And we're gonna chop into it like yeah. a Chinese hot knife? Yeah. Do it for the two. <laughs> so I guess what, we measure an inch? I'd measure the off of the bottom oh, because the, bottom? the top's gonna be hard to measure off of. So I would make a line at two inches probably. Do you wanna take it that low? That's pretty low. So we'll do like, let me go off like the tip here. So you wanna do like two and what, two and a half? Two and a half to yeah. start with. Very high precision here. <laughs> I'd measure off this and then mark where you wanna start your cut from the front and the back and then you can kind of connect the lines. Right. So where do you think, like seven it's, inches? Yeah, either six or seven. I would say seven. So far so good, you're gonna start your line there, connect that and then how far back are you going? It gets really thin towards the back. Like, right. should we do a stepper like the Moto guys do? I would have just liked. So at 10, I'll make a mark, just kind of winging it. And then we'll just kind of connect the sweep there. I mean, that's at least an inch, I feel like. You know what I mean? Something yeah, like that. Perfect. And then kind of just take it. Perfect. Back to there. Mint. No, I agree. Yeah. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, that was perfect. That's good. Now we're never gonna see this stuff, so you might as well just frickin' draw oh. some things on here. Let me add a smiley face so it's PG. <laughs> it looks like an evil Squidward. So this is what we're working with, guys. We've got the freaking Big Meech. I've never used one of these things, but the Carefree Camper Company uses these to cut their mattresses because they have a lot of custom sized mattress builds. I guess this thing works pretty damn good. I wonder how sharp it is. Like It's pretty sharp because I don't think that one's been used. Sheesh. I feel very... Violated? No. I feel like... Professional. Yeah, like he's signing my seat, like Caleb himself. It looks like the little... Um... Squidward? No, it looks like the Iron Giant. Is that what you always do? No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is this your hat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's man bun. <laughs> I like it. That's perfect. Dude, do not. Brand that looks so close. Oh, my air feels so good. You want to brand my ass? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh! What's the mark? Oh, this stuff has got to be so bad for you. <laughs> See, minty. That was like butter. Dude, I don't want this thing to slip and grab my hand. Do I need to go up at all or is it good? No, you're good. Dude, honestly, I might have just found like the best tool ever. You're gonna have to do it again. Like you're not low enough on this side. I know, but look how much materials come off. I know. Let me know if I need to adjust on that side because I'm perfect on this side. You're good. Yeah. Dude. Dude, that's a low seat if I've ever oh, seen it. Oh, look at that. Honestly, I got that pretty damn even. You did. This is probably the equivalent of what the Enduro Engineering is. Yeah. This tool is probably dirt cheap. This is the old Alibaba special. <laughs> this thing is a cheat code. I say we go a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. Okay. I guarantee you that's a solid inch. Just about an inch. So you want to go more? I would go a little bit more. Are you inhaling those toxic fumes? Yes. Jesus Christ. Holy cow. Let's take this out and make sure we're not butchering the seat. Are we like to the plastic yet? Dude, we're Here. pretty far down. Maybe um, go this way then, now. I feel like I'm baking a cake. I know. <laughs> that is a good way to describe it. Nice. Mint. <sighs> Dude, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that too. This stuff cuts really good. Do you think it's possible to like cut the sides a little bit to make them more round? Yeah, yeah. Like lots of square. Yeah, perfect. Total, we got this piece and this piece. That's a lot of foam. Look, it looks like it's it. one of your employees, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to sign it? Get old Mr. Jones. He needs here. to draw a hawk. Go, go. <laughs> old DH. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually really stoked for this. And it's still got good. enough comfort. 
for sure. Like, I'm, ex look at that. I'm excited to put it on the bike and sit on it. Yeah. Dude, so total, let's do a measurement really okay. quick. I would say that's close to two inches. You get a measurement. Right on the dot, one and a half inches. That's a huge gain considering with the aftermarket seats, you only get seven eighths of an inch. So that will be a huge difference. I mean, for a Lexus that's only five foot tall, we almost increased it by two inches. So yeah. we're gonna set the sag. We can do that on the road with the tools we have now. And then until we get the suspension done, she should be able to at least touch to ride it. Oh. I'm super happy with how this turned out. Look at that. Swoop. Thanks. Good All right, man. open this thing up. I know, I'm excited for this. I haven't opened it. Instructions. Ooh. I do like the orange ribs. Minty. So hopefully it fits. Looks like it will. Because you had to enter your model, mm -hmm. didn't you? It's there. Yeah, I get them nice and tight and... Ooh, that is a drop if I've ever seen one. I know, it almost stretches the cover too much, but yeah. we'll make it work. Oh, it's gonna be hard. All right, guys, we are on the home stretch of the cover install, and I'm gonna use a pneumatic stapler. You can do this with a hand stapler, but it's pretty damn hard. Unfortunately, the air compressor that we're using is gigantic, and there is no pressure dial on there, so we can't tone it back at all, so most likely I will send one of these staples through my thigh. But you also wanna make sure that you're nice and centered here. Is that where you always start, is the top? Yeah, top and the back, that's what I do. And then you do the sides? Everybody does it different, but yeah. That right there looks good. So we got the two in the front started. Just don't get it too tight because you'll have like a banana effect and it'll literally bow Dude, your seat up. You can literally, when you, with the cover on, you can see how far of a drop it is oh, yeah. on camera. Like that's nuts. It's gonna be pretty significant. So we don't have much room on the back here, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So once again, you just wanna make sure you're lined up here. Thing's got some sauce, man. Got some sizzle. So guys, we got the cover on. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think it turned out mint. Yeah, you can kind of see like the shape of the seat through the cover. But, oh, but barely. Barely. But you can tell how big of a drop that is. Dude, that's gonna be a huge difference. And I feel like you got the padding where it counts. Yeah. Like you usually sit pretty close to the right. tank right here. Right. So we'll get her back and get her on the bike. I'm but I'm excited. So we're just gonna trim this back a little bit. It's kind of time consuming. I think more so than the cost. Definitely time consuming. You mean like compared to just buying a seat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. But. In the grand scheme of things, saved some money. Uh -huh. And we got more out of it. Wow. That's a damn finished product. There you go, boys. You definitely don't need that. A negative. Dude, this is insane how much we cut off this. I think it'll be perfect. Yeah. You still got enough cush mm -hmm. for the push. Let's go get this thing on there. Okay, I'm excited. It's time. Let's go. Woo! Oh my what? God. Let's just drop it in the sand. Oh snap. Dude, it looks so dorky. Damn, this is the lowest is seat that I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. I think at this point we really should have just put the cover on top of the plastic. Dude, it's still going to be comfortable. What do you say, buddy? It's silly. Isn't this silly? Look at these guns. <laughs> the guns are sore. They're really hard. They have bigger arms than fucking me. Look at these things. These <laughs> Don't cannons. touch them. They're sore. I'm nervous. Why? To sit on it. Should be excited. Yeah. We have to look up how much the foam actually is. It shouldn't be more than a hundred bucks. What, in case someone doesn't want this when I sell it? Yeah. He said when. All right, ready? Yeah. Hop on that horse. Oh my God, it's so much lighter. I'm just kidding. Shaved 10 pounds of weight. Ah, made a difference. That's nice. It's like feels wider, like more square. No, I like it. I think it's perfect. 
Do you? Yeah, I it's really right. do. It's like low. In the... I know, like, I'm just like looking at where, where we, you sit. Where we made it the lowest, and it's perfect. That was more a luck than anything. Mm -hmm. Step back and see how bad it looks. <laughs> what? It's just so low. Like, I feel like the enduro engineering, you can't even tell that it's like low. Yeah. <laughs> I like it though. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think you can tell that it wasn't like made that way professionally. We'll go with that. I'm happy with how it turned out. Good. It's practical and that's all that matters. That's a fact. Every inch that I can get. The lowest seat ever made, guys. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make the lowest seat. You could even make it lower if you wanted. <laughs> Yeah, just the seat pan. I am super happy with how it turned out, though. Wasn't that hard. Took us, what, like an hour to do everything, realistically. So, well worth $36. Get my two inches of lowered seat. And, yeah, I'm happy with it. If I were her, I probably would have done a little bit of a step to it. I think for her, that little bit of extra grip of being locked in would have made sense for her. But she wanted to go with the banana boat, so... That's what you get, but overall guys, two inches compared to the seven eighths of an inch that you get with the aftermarket that you're spending a lot of money on. I think it's a no brainer for a lot of people out there that are trying to squeeze a couple inches out of their seat height. So yeah, overall it's functional. That's all that matters. Still comfortable. There's still plenty of foam left and it's just amazing how thick those seats actually are. But that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've ever shaved a seat, if you got any other tips and tricks overall i mean for what we did i'm pretty happy with it so thank you all for watching and until the next video we'll see you then